Hey, so this morning I woke up and I found that my phone was not working. So it's not turning on as you can see, it's stuck on a logo. So I was about to fix my phone, then I thought maybe I can just make a video for you guys. And it would help you to repair your own phone and especially when you're stuck in a lockdown, you don't have time to go to the service center or take it to a private shop. That way, you can repair your own phone at home. So keep watching this video. I'm gonna explain how it is done and let's get started. My name is Saurav, you're watching Yetim Saurav, let's get started. Okay, so what's happening is that I'm stuck in this position. My phone is not turning on and when I'm trying to restart it by holding the power button on, what it does, it shows me the logo of my phone's company which is me. I have a Redmi phone which is a K20 Pro and it lands me back to here. Now, you guys would have the similar issues when it comes to boot loop, but the only difference can be that instead of me getting stuck first in me logo and then coming here, you might keep revolving in me logo. So what will happen is your phone will show you me logo, then turn off, then me logo again, then turn off, then me logo again. It's a series of loop called boot loop. And I've explained about it in one of the videos. If you are interested in checking it out, I will leave the link in the description. And also you can click here on the I pop up card in order to watch the video. But yes, this is this position where my phone is stuck at the moment. I'm gonna tell you now how you can actually fix this one. Now also remember that whatever data was there in the phone cannot be retrieved in any way since the software is corrupted. But what you can do is you can bring your phone back from there. Also, at the point of time when your phone is still turning on, make sure that you go to your developer settings and under developer settings, you turn on the USB debugging option. If you don't have it turned on already, because if you don't have it on, then it's going to be a bit difficult for you to put the software in your phone using your laptop. So let's get started now. Okay, first of all, you need to go to Google and you need to know your phone model or the phone name. So I have Redmi K20 Pro. After you have typed your phone model, you have to type the exact same keywords as I'm typing. Happy. factory images download now this factory images means the software of your phone but the way you call it is factory images so you're basically looking for downloading it you probably have to find a website like this for me it's like this and in your case it would be some other website if you have a redmi or a xiaomi phone then you can just directly come here in this website and you will find it if you have some other brand, you probably have to do the same thing and you might just have to go to some websites and you will see that this is the phone software version. You have a download link here and code, code name. This is as per device. You have to focus here. This is your phone's model and this is the version and this is the Android version. When you click download, once you click download, it's going to show you the size. It's around two and a half gigabytes for me also it depends upon the model of the phone which android version is it and which software version it is so basically for me it's 2.19 gigabytes let me hit download button at the moment and once the download is complete i'm going to show you what you have to do next okay so the download was completed and this is the folder that i downloaded actually it was in a zip file so i extracted the zip and this is the folder that I have. So what I basically have to do is open it, make it big, and you will see something like this. Inside the images, you will have the complete software of your phone. And outside, there are some couple of files. Before doing this, you have to install something else. So go in Google, type, ADB fast boot drivers. And the moment you type, you will come here in the website of XTA. And then you just have to scroll down and you will see you have the downloaded version here. Click here and 
the download will start this i will leave a link of this in the description as well so once you hit download open it and you just have to run this setup what it will do is install necessary files required to connect your phone with your laptop i've already installed it so it's already there but you just have to press yes i'm just still gonna do it yes install adb system wide yes installing you want to install the device drivers press yes next it's gonna do installation click install it says ready to use and finish that's all for this thing now you have to head to c drive you will find the folder adb you just have to enter inside you will find these four files here you just have to copy these and open the folder where you downloaded the factory images open this and here you just have to paste it i've already done it so it's asking me to replace it i'll do it but if you don't have it it will just paste here now it's pretty simple okay so the software is downloaded and my phone is turned off at the moment as you can see so what you have to do at the moment is connect the official usb cable it came with your phone this one with your laptop that's done and do not connect the other end of the usb cable with your phone the reason is because i'm going to tell you why now you have to go to google and search for your phone model which is redmi k20 pro and write fast boot mode you basically have to turn your phone in a different mode than usual and you have to know how to do that so once you're here you will see that it's telling you at first hold the power key for a few seconds and turn your device off volume down and power button for a couple of seconds you have to press your volume down and power button at the same time press them firmly together and you will see that it turned into fast mode mode now this mode is the mode that you need in order to connect your phone with your laptop and put the software inside now you can easily connect this did you hear that now it's gonna make some noise and it's the phone is now detected in your laptop and there are a couple of files here what i need is flash all dot bat double click flash all dot bat once you see it's gonna start executing the script and the script will put the software into your mobile phone at the moment you wouldn't be able to see anything on your phone it's gonna take around five to ten minutes depending upon your laptop obviously and your phone and how big the file is to completely happen but once it happens it's gonna look something like this so after the process is completed the script will automatically close and your phone should restart automatically at the moment my phone is still restarting you can see these dots down so that's what ha is happening at the moment and the phone will take some time to boot up so this is the time when the software installation is complete and this is going to start in some couple of minutes this is how my phone looks at the moment um i just have to set it up So that's how you fix your phone and if you have any questions ask me in the comment section and if you like the video please press the thumbs up button and i will see you in the next one peace